everybody, and welcome. This is Joyce from Virtual Fundamentals, and this is the third video in our uh, training series on uh, video marketing tools, Jing and Screencast-O-Matic. And today, our first video is about Screencast-O-Matic, the free version. Now, the free version of Screencast-O-Matic has a few additional features that Jing does not have. Now, in the free version, Screencast-O-Matic does offer you a, the ability to use your webcam. It does have an adjustable capture size. It does have a one-click share. It does have an embed uh, video code right in the free version. It also allows for 15 minutes worth of video recording, whereas Jing in the free and pro only allows you up to five minutes. So there are a couple of, in the, within the free version itself, some additional um, pluses that Screencast-O-Matic has. The other plus is that Screencast-O-Matic is a, an internet tool. It resides in the cloud. You do not have to download the software, whereas in Jing that you do. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, go to www.screencastomatic.com. It's screencast-o-matic.com. And once you're here, you'll notice that you don't even have to sign in. You can start recording immediately. And that's a really nice feature. The only thing I would say is that if you want to do more than one recording and you want to save those to screencast o or SOM, you are going to need to sign in. It is free, of course. You just put in your email and you create a password, and then you'll be able to save your recordings, okay? So let's just go ahead and uh, start recording, okay? So I'm going to click on Start Recording. And it's going to load. It's going to tell us to check our microphone. And then it's going to say for us to go ahead and see this dotted line. It's going to tell us to put it where, wherever it is we want to capture in our video. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and resize that as to whatever you want to capture. I'm going to just hide this little message. All right. And when you're ready to start and you have your window sized correctly, what I normally do, here's your toolbar. Okay, and notice my mic is working. I'm going to go down here, and here is the record button. I'm first going to go to wherever it is I want to record. So once again, I'll go back to my standard here, my blog page, and I'm going to just record this page, okay? So I'm ready. I'm going to go down, and I'm going to press record. And once again, we've got the countdown, and we're live, okay? And again, just as with anything, if whether you have a slideshow or what have you, you can go ahead and you can move around within your uh, video, do whatever you want to, record, move things, change things, however you would like to do that, okay? And once you're satisfied with what you recorded, you're going to go down and you're going to press the yellow, the yellow, the blue pause buttons, okay? And we're going to go ahead and pause it. Now, in Screencast-O-Matic, note I've got the record button again. I can go ahead and continue to record here, okay, whereas Jing, you can't. And you're going to go ahead and, and in order for, if you're completely done with this and you love it, you have to say done, okay? Or you have the option to completely restart, to start right over again. And it'll, it'll give you a warning, are you sure you want to restart your video? And um, you say yes or no, depending, okay? So we're happy with this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to say we're done. Okay, so we're going to click done. Okay, so again, we're at our preview screen. Um, we had a preview just like we had in Jing. Okay, and now we have some additional options that we did not have in Jing. Okay, and that is namely right here. Well, we did actually had some saving things. We have a one button share here. Okay, so we have these options. We can upload this to Screencast-O-Matic. Now, here is where they're going to ask you to sign in and to create an account because otherwise, of course, they wouldn't be able to save it for you. They wouldn't know where to save it. You can upload to YouTube. You can save this to a video file. And again, remember, in Screencast-O-Matic now, you have the, in the free version, you are or have the MP4 available to you, which you did not have in the free version of Jing. Okay, so we have some choices here. And... Uh, what we're going to do, again, if you say done with recording, it's going to warn you that it will delete the recording if you continue. All right. And now you have 
You can save it to Screencast-O-Matic. Again, you need to create a, an account with Screencast-O-Matic or otherwise they can't save the video for you. Or we can take it to YouTube or we can save it to a video file. Okay, so let's go ahead and save it to a video file. And it's pretty much the same way as Jing in that you need to just fill out. Now here you have the option of full size or HD. Okay, you can rescale it if you like. You can add notes. You can add captions and then tell it what you want it to save. Now like if you had your cursor in here and you didn't want it to show your cursor, then you wouldn't click it. Or if you did want it to show your cursor, you would show the mouse cursor. So you have some choices here, show mouse clicks, show mouse halo, so on and so forth, all right? And then you would just simply save your video. And again, you would put it wherever it is that you wanted to save the video, all right? Now, if we go back, you could also upload it to YouTube. And again, in this case, if you upload it to YouTube, <laughs> sorry, you're going to go ahead and give it a title, a description, tags if you like. Uh, Category, choose your category, whether you want it to be private or public. Uh, I'm not sure, yep, you can make it public or private. Um, captions again, your sidebar color, you can change the color of the sidebars if you want to and create a custom color. Again, you have your options. You would have to fill in your YouTube account information so that it connects with YouTube and then you simply click upload and it'll go right on ahead and upload it to YouTube, okay? Let's click back and then you have to save it to a file okay so we can go ahead and click save to a file again so let's just go ahead and do that we'll save it to a file time mp4 I'll save it as full size there are no notes and I'll just go ahead and save that it's going to open and I have a uh, wherever you want uh, this was happened to be the last folder I saved to but you would just go and find wherever you keep your videos or wherever you'll find your file. I'm going to go back one actually to my sweet SOM file. I'm going to name this um, SOM, SOM training, free trans, do free, free training series one. Okay. And I'll just go ahead and I'm going to save that. And notice again, it automatically saves it as an, an MP4 file. Okay? All right. And we just save it. So now it's saving the video. As you can see here, it's working. It's telling me where it's saving it. And it doesn't take too long. And there it is. It's saved to my computer. And that's all there is to creating a quick video with Screencast-O-Matic. So Screencast-O-Matic free, that's how simple it is. And I think now I'll just go to the second video and I'll go through the uh, Pro Tools with you. Now there are far more Pro Tools in Screencast-O-Matic Pro than there are in Jing Pro, namely all of the editing tools. And they have some fairly, fairly sophisticated editing tools and they just added uh, some brand new features I haven't had an opportunity to look at yet, but there are certainly plenty for us to go through. So um, on to the next video. See you there.